Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to be still and very, very quiet? To lay down and possibly not move at all? Close your eyes if you want to, or you can listen to the story with your eyes wide open as long as eventually you close your eyes so that you can settle down and get comfortable to go to sleep at the end. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were off in the forest. They were star spotting. They decided that they wanted to see the different star constellations and the best time to do it was obviously at night time. They were well prepared and they knew the forest that they were going to very well and it was safe and everything was good. The cats had been walking through the trees and walking through the forest until they come to the perfect place where they decided to sit down on a log that had been a tree at one point that unfortunately had died for some reason and it had fallen over and now it was the perfect bench. The three cats sat down and started to stare up at the sky. It was the perfect night for star spotting because there were no clouds in the sky. Everything was clear and bright. Cherry said, Oh, oh, you know, I think, I think this is absolutely lovely. Why haven't we done this before? It's so nice to be out in nature and just be, be really quiet. Like when everyone's asleep like this, it's lovely because you don't see anybody else walking in the forest. You don't see anybody like walking the dogs or, or like playing or hiking or doing whatever they normally do in the daytime. It's just us. It's just us in in nature and and the sky is really really bright it's lovely look at that one Faye. look at that one cherry pointed to a really really bright star in the sky Faye said hmm it's really pretty me's thinking that if that was a stone on a tiara it would be so bright can you imagine i'd be able to light the way for miles and miles and miles and everyone could follow me in the dark. Cherry said, Oh yeah, yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? Hey, Idy, do us a favour. Jump up and get us that star, would you? So that we can make a tiara out of it. <laughs> Cherry started laughing. Heidi said, I wish I could jump that high. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I could jump that high, how wonderful that would be? Just with one jump, I'd end up in China. And then another jump, I'd be miles and miles away in Tibet. And another jump, I'd be in Scotland, maybe. Or in Ireland, or... Oh, can you imagine how wonderful that would be? Cherry said, Gosh, that would be absolutely amazing if we had those, like, mega bouncing jumping powers like that. Wouldn't you think that would be great? You know, if I were a superhero, that would be a really good power that you could have because you could just go all over the world really, really quickly and visit wherever you wanted to visit. And every time you went, you could maybe take something nice. Like if you were going to go to Africa or something and you were going to visit a bunch of people like that lived in the middle of nowhere, you could take them something like really fun that they've never even tasted before like uh, what would you think what would we do what would we Heidi said oh you could take them a bar of chocolate yeah something like that oh I'm sure though I'm sure they've had chocolate before don't you think don't you think absolutely everybody on the earth has probably tasted chocolate Vea said mm, me thinks maybe not me thinks maybe some people have never had the opportunity to eat chocolate Wow, said Cherry. That's really, really ridiculous when you think about it. It's really crazy. Oh, gosh. Ooh, what's that smell? All of a sudden, the cats got the most strongest, nastiest smell up their little noses that they'd ever smelt before. 
Oh, said Heidi, I think that that... Yes, yep, that's definitely the smell of a skunk. There must be a skunk close by. What? said Cherry. A skunk? What's... Wow, they smell awful. Heidi said, yes, I know. Did you know that a skunk, you can smell it for miles and miles away. And a skunk can spray as far as 10 feet. Can you see a skunk anywhere? Cherry said, what do they look like? What do they look like? And then I'll start looking with my X-ray night vision eyes. What do they look like? Heidi said, well, they're black. And they look kind of like, ooh, mm, kind of like a cat if you think about it. But they have a big white stripe all the way down their back and they spray when they're nervous or they're trying to defend themselves. There must be one really close that thinks that we're going to hurt them or something. Cherry said, uh, <coughs> Hello, 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 Mr. Skunk. Don't worry, we're only coming to look at the stars. We're not coming to destroy anybody in the forest or like stomp on any wildlife or anything like that. We've been very, very careful so far when we were walking because it was dark because we don't want to hurt anybody or anybody, any any other animals or anything. We're, we're really nice cats. You can come out if you want to. Don't worry, Vaya said. Me would like to introduce myself. My name is Vaya and I like, um... Vaya said to the other cats, Do you think skunks understand what princesses are? Heidi said, I'm not sure, but you could say it anyway. Me, me likes princesses and everything related to princesses, uh, said Vaya. The cats just looked around. They couldn't see very much at all. If a skunk is black, then probably the only part of it that they could see would be the white part anyway. And then all of a sudden there was a rustle in the trees. And a skunk walked forward into plain view. It looked like it was shaking just a little bit. Uh, hello, said the skunk. Uh, sorry about that smell. I can't help it. I do it all the time when I'm nervous, Cherry said. Hello? Well, don't you worry. There's no need to be nervous. My name's Cherry, this is Heidi, and this is Vaya. We're sisters, and we're looking at stars. That's all we're doing. We're looking at stars, and you're very welcome, very, very, very welcome to come and sit down with us if you want to. We have lots of friends, you know. We make friends with almost everybody that we meet because we're very friendly. And, uh, yeah, come and sit down. I, I think it'd be very nice if you come and sit down and look at the stars with us. The skunk said, um, thanks, my name's, uh, Mr. P-P-U. Cherry started laughing. P-U? Like as in poo-wee? P-U? Like as in, uh, you're smelly? Uh, yeah, said the skunk. Uh, my mum gave me that name when I was really small, and, and it's kind of stuck, even though it's... It's a kind of a not very nice name, but it's a funny name. We think it's funny, so it just stuck. A Mr. P.U. And, uh, yeah. Heidi said, well, we're very glad that you're here and there's no need to be nervous now. You can calm down. Cherry said, I know lots of things and lots of ways that can help you calm down, you know, if you're suffering from nerves. You know, everybody has times in their life when they have anxiety. Do you know what anxiety is? Do you know what that is, Mr. P.U.? Mr. P.U. said, um, is it when you're really, really nervous all the time? Cherry said, yeah, kind of like that. Sometimes you can even have what's called a panic attack. That's when all your heart starts racing really, 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 really fast. And, and you can't breathe and you get short of breath and you can feel like really nervous or you can feel like the whole world's caving in on you or you can feel like you're going to faint and you have to you have to lay down on the floor because your legs go all wobbly underneath you. And, and, and you know, all of those things are not very nice. Do you ever feel like that? Heidi said to Cherry, Wow, you know a lot about panic attacks. Cherry said, Yeah, I know, I'm awesome. I know a lot about everything. 
Mr. P.U. said. Um, yeah, I think I have had one of those before. In fact, yeah, I think I have them on a daily basis because I, I spray a lot and I really don't want to. I really don't want everybody that I ever come into contact with to say, P.U., you smell Mr. P.U. It's not very nice, you know. I'd rather be able to control my nerves. Cherry said, I have the perfect thing. You know what? You know what? It sounds ridiculously easy. And it sounds like really, really like, oh, everybody always says just breathe. It can get really annoying, you know. But I have a friend. Well, we all have friends, don't we? Uh, our friend is called Corey. And Corey has taught us how to meditate in the past. Do you know what meditation is, Mr. P.U.? Mr. P.U. said, um... No, Cherry said. Awesome. Don't you worry. While we sit down and look up at the stars and enjoy ourselves and have a lovely night together, I'm going to teach you how to meditate. I'm going to teach you how to breathe. It's really simple because, you know, you can do just a breathing meditation where you breathe in and you take a nice deep breath, a breath and you count, you count, you count. And then when you count, what happens is your brain gets distracted by your counting because your brain has to focus on your counting because it, you can't count when you're not focused like this. Look, watch. Four, five, uh, eight, tw uh, one, two, five, ten. Uh, see, you can't focus. But when you focus and you slow down and you start to really count from one to four, just one, two, three, four, and that's it. And you don't do anything else. You just really, 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 really focus on your breath and on your counting. And then you hold your breath for a few seconds, like this. <gasps> and then you count again and you breathe out for four. One, two, three, four. That's it. That's all you do, Mr. P.U. Try it with me. Try it with me right now. We'll just do a breathing, counting, breathing, counting, uh, meditation exercise. Yeah, we'll call it, Cor Corey would call it that. Yeah, like a breathing meditation exercise. And, and we'll do that together. In fact, we can all do it right now as we're sat down on this lovely tree, on this lovely night. We can all just breathe and relax. And you'll see, Mr. P.U., just how much calmer you feel just from breathing because your brain's distracted on the numbers. And because your brain's distracted on the numbers, it can't freak out in your head anymore. It can't go, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Oh, oh, oh. See, your mind can't do that when you're counting because you're counting. Awesome. It's absolutely crazy, amazingly cool. And it works. Let's do it. Cherry made everybody close their eyes and start to count to four. Taking nice, long, deep breaths. And then breathing out the four. Until all of the breath was out of their bodies and their tummies were empty. And breathing in for four. And breathing out for four. She did it ten times. When everybody opened their eyes, she looked at Mr. P.U. Heidi said, how do you feel? Vea said, me feels calm. Do you feel calm? Mr. P.U. said, oh yeah, I feel really chilled. I feel very relaxed. I don't think I'm going to spray at all. See? said Cherry. I told you, didn't I? I told you. It's absolutely amazing. It works. It really does. Now, all you have to do, even when you're not with us, even when you're alone in the forest and you're stressing out about something and you can feel like a panic attacky coming on and you can feel like your legs are going wobbly and like you might be sweating or you can't breathe right or you feel like the whole world's closing in on you, then you just breathe. You just count to four, breathe out for four, breathe in for four, breathe out for four, do it ten times and I bet you, I bet you any money, I bet you any money, I bet you ten pounds or uh, I bet you, I bet you anything that if you do that, you'll be really, really chilled out, Mr. P.U. And then they'll have to call you Mr. Chilled instead of Mr. P.U. because you won't be smelly anymore, because you won't be spraying all the time, because you won't be nervous. Mr. P.U. said, oh, that's absolutely Wonderful. Thank you so much. I really do feel very chilled. Now, shall we just look at the stars? 
The cats all agreed to just look at the stars and be still and quiet. They all settled down on the log, got really comfortable. And then they decided to lay down so they could look up at the sky much easier. The stars were shining bright and it was so nice and relaxing. But they couldn't help but start to fall asleep. Underneath the stars with the new friend, Mr. P.U. Well, I should say Mr. Chilled. The End <laughs>